In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to beat the blitz from the shotgun spread formation in the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time checking out my YouTube channel, my YouTube channel focuses on helping you get better in Madden 20 and Futurely, we'll be helping you get better in Madden 21 through tips, tricks, ebooks, all that kind of stuff. So, if that interests you, be sure to watch the video all the way through. And if you want to join the channel, what I want to encourage you to do is you can subscribe, and I'd appreciate that. But what I'd really want you to do is join our Discord. That's where you're going to be able to get the most up to date stuff. And once we get 100 members in our Discord, I'm going to be releasing this entire playbook, every single formation broken down uh, in detail as an offensive guide, free guide to you. And as well, I'm going to be breaking down my defensive guide for you for the end of Madden 20. So for free, thanks for watching and let's jump into it. All right. So shotgun spread. So we all know the issue, the issue that I face when I play, when I'm using the spread formation is it's really, really difficult to pick up the pressure. It's really, really difficult to stop some of those send seven and, you know, lurk blitz blitzes and different things like that. So what I want to do today is I want to show you a couple of different principles, different tactics that you can utilize um, to be able to beat the blitz. There's there's really two specific tactics that I like to use. The first one, and this is if you know they're in cover two blitz, is stock fades like the one you see here from Y cross. So that's why I always set Y cross as an audible. And then also uh, the play Y stick. I really like that one as well. Uh, you guys have probably seen me run that a thousand times on stream. Um, but the other play that I really like is this play right here, the curl wheel play in combination with the Z shallow play. And then I put the hitch seam here. So, so basically there's two specific tactics that I want to share with you today. And they both kind of revolve around this play here, curl wheel or the play Z shallow, either one, it will work just fine. Um, and then you can, like I said, you can also use the stock fades from Y cross, which we'll show you that in just a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out in any, any stock, um, zone blitz because most of the time you're going to get blitz from zone very rarely do you get blitz from man this year so let me just see if i can get you a cover two because this is the one um zone blitz too deep and then we'll just do any of those plays and we'll just kind of run some some scrimmaging here against it so cover two you see you have the safeties you see how they're aligned on that on that side right there well what you want to do and most of the time in madden your your offense is ran to a hash so what I like to I like to be on the right hash. Now there's a couple of different things that you can do from this, but Y cross if they're on the hash mark, you'll see here at the snap of the ball, Stefan Diggs is going to get on get an outside release, and that outside release is going to allow you to pass lead it to the left, and then you're going to be able to click on and possession catch it. Now it's a little bit more difficult when they're man aligned, and that's why I don't always like if I know they're man aligned, I don't always run this. But the play that I really, really like against the Blitz is this play right here, Curl Wheel. And the reason I like this play so much, I think there's a lot of things you can do with it. The route on the route to circle is really, really effective. And with the Vikings, you'd want to put Stefan Diggs over there because he has post flag elite. But it's basically a click on user catch post route. The baby hitch routes, in my opinion, are the best route in the game to beat the Blitz. Because you can throw them at different points. You can throw them early. You can throw them late. It's basically a stop route. So right there. And as you can see, if I low ball, if I low ball down and away, that's kind of the, the, the tip that I wanted to share with you. So here we'll show you on the left side. So they blitz there. Down and away pass lead. As you can see, you get that possession catch. It's just a simple way to beat the blitz. It's not anything fancy at all. And... What I like doing is if they're backed off, if they're backed off coverage, I'll take Stephon Diggs and I'll put him on a, um, I'll put him on a, um, a quick out route or a smart. I like to smart route the out route, but you can put him on any quick out route. You can also put him on a comeback depending on what you're facing. It's so like if you're facing cover two, it doesn't make a lot of sense to put him on an out route because the out route's not going to work against cover two. The comeback route, however, if you have time in the pocket, maybe you get a bad read, you'll be able to get rid of it. And what I like about this too is you're going to force their user to make a decision. Their user has – that's why I like curl wheel more than anything because especially against cover two zone blitzes because they're going to have to make a decision because if they don't go to that route, you see that's an aggressive catch every single time. You click – you have to click onto that. You have to do that. But that's an aggressive catch every single time. So it's just a simple way to play. Um, but you step up, step up, step up. Again, you got to click on to him. It's a hard left pass lead. I'm pass leading it at about 9 o'clock if my, if my joystick was a uh, clock. 
But to me, that is that is a critical little route there in your arsenal. Here, let me show you the suck out on that left side. You see, you could kind, you, you really can't fit that in against cover two. When they're pressed up like that, I don't really run a whole lot of outs unless unless they're pressing every single time and they may be in bail technique coverage. Then it's like it doesn't really, you know, you, it's hard to identify. So. I'll typically put him in a, a comeback if I face press coverage because what a comeback, if I get time in the pocket here, you'll see, and I just missed it, but right at, right at the top of his break, right at the top of his break, he's going to be good to go. And you can actually, if I pass lead it up, ah, just missed the pass lead on that. But if the, if the corner bites, if the corner drops, you can actually kind of fit that in. Um, there is a window. And I'll tell you what, I don't know if you guys have had this issue with Madden, but for some reason, in the last probably two or three days, I have not been able to snap the ball. Um, and I'm not exactly sure why. So, anyway, you want to put your fast receiver here on the left side. you got Stephon Diggs there. And then um, I did want to show you one little trick from the mesh play as well. Um, and I have all these in my audibles. So, let me show you a cover two uh, zone blitz, two deep. And that's to be that's the hardest what's to beat. The hardest what's to beat is the cloud flat type of type of defenses. So from mesh, um, mesh is my favorite play in the game. I mean it's it's not even close. Um, but what what can happen with Stephon Diggs? This is really why his route is so important. If they're man aligned, he's still going to get that outside release, and you can still throw that. You can still throw that ball. Worst thing that's going to happen is they're going to they're going to swat it. They're not going to pick that, especially in reg, regular head to head teams. And that's one of the things you have to remember. It's one of the rules of the of the play of the formation, uh, of the spread. You can throw you can throw those those corners even if they're man aligned, even if they're in a cloud. And if they, you know, if they if if you need to, you can if you need to go to the wide side of the field to get a little bit more spacing, you can. As you can see, Kirk, Kirk Cousins not doing a great job of getting the ball out. You've got to get the ball out there, and it's a little bit tricky, but. Try to try to practice some of that because I face a lot of people who man align their cover twos. There you see it. I face a lot of people who man align their defense, and this is why it's really important. A man align defense, it's a lot harder to get this throw into Treadwell. It's a lot harder to get that stock fade route. Um, you see how he gets kind of caught up, right? And you can you can click on and make a play with a user catch, but it's just sloppy. It's just sloppy, and that's why you know to me. If you can, if you can have a for sure thing, but again, get that out there, and you see we're just not, we're just not getting it, not getting a great look there. But if you leave, um, if you leave, if you're running wide cross and you leave Thielen on his little out route right there, he'll um, that will help, that will help a little bit with this. As you see, there it is, able to get it over the top, that little fade route. But those are the two primary things. I like curl wheel the most. Um, I think it's the most consistent, honestly. And if they're in if they're in like a cover two set, if you'll see here, if I wait, 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 I can throw that. Ah, missed it a little bit. I can throw that route to Treadwell if there's a little. There's sometimes a little window, depending on the defense that they play. There will be a little bit of a window there to throw that. But uh, Z shallow. I was going to show you uh, wheel routes. So. Wheel routes against cover two, you'll see here, he'll get up the seam right there for a little back shoulder animation. And so what I like to do with that is I'll take, if I wanted to, to work the wheel route a little bit on him, which, you know, you can do that certainly. What I would do is I'd take the, the running back and I would put him on a little block and release pattern, take Stephon Diggs, put him on a streak. And then from there, I'd drag, probably drag Thielen or something something like this right here. And then, you know, basically what's going to happen is you'll get that wheel route isolated. Um, you'll either get the wheel route wide open or you get the drag route wide open. It's just a it's just a two-man, it's very simple two-man read. Um, and then seams against the pressure, uh, against specifically cover two pressure, uh, seams, you see how he follows him right there, and I don't really like that. That's one of the main issues, I think, with this year's game is like, they follow, but again, if they follow, you have the underneath, so it's like it's not that big of an issue. But what you can do with your tight end on the right side is you could put him on like a fade route, and you'll see here motion in. If they're in Tampa too, he'll leave him, or at least oh, I don't know what that corner did right there. Um, normally they leave. Normally they'll leave the the tight end streak wide open. Um, 
but yeah, those are some simple tips to beat the blitz. The one that I, again, the one that I run the most is the, um, the curl wheel play. I think it's the hardest to stop, um, because, because there's multiple different ways you can beat them. Um, you've got that little hitch route. You've got, um, You've got this route to tread well that you could work. You could take Thielen. You could put him on a hitch. You could do other things, too. I mean, you could leave Thielen on that route, and you could see here you could motion in tread well, get him on the hitch, and you'll see this right there. You see how you can kind of pop that wheel route in there? That's another good option from Curl Wheel. That's why I say I think Curl Wheel is the hardest to stop consistently, but... Because, again, the way that the, the game plays, you've got a little bit of outside outside position here with Thielen, and you could squeeze that in on the back side. So this is just a couple of different options for you. I wanted to get, share something for you because I feel like a lot of people are having – I mean, I'm having an issue beating the Blitz. I think a lot of people are having an issue beating the Blitz. And this was something that took a lot of lab hours. But um, And if the low ball hitches aren't there, you don't want to force them. But normally they'll be there, and that's why you want to have two. The reason you want to have two low ball hitches, which is also why if you're running curl wheel, you know, it doesn't hurt to motion Treadwell in, and as soon as he moves, put him on a hitch, and then snap the ball once he gets kind of in here. Now you'll have those, you'll still have two hitches, but you'll also have this big play wheel route that you can swerve catch, which we talked about in another one of our videos, so check that out on the channel. Anyways, guys, those are some quick ways to beat the Blitz in Madden 20 from the spread. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. And if it was, and you haven't already, be sure to join our Discord. Our Discord link.